Welcome back guys, so in this video I will be showing you some gameplay of Red Dead Redemption running on my Windows PC that has Ryzen 3700X processor and an RTX 2070 Super GPU I will be using the Canary build of Xenia Xbox 360 emulator We will also be showing you its setup guide Canary build is a fork based on the master build of Xenia It incorporates certain changes that are missing from the master build For example, in the Canary build we can use patches, we will also be showing you that for more information, you can check out this link given on Xenia's GitHub page. These are the minimum and recommended system requirements for this emulator. Now having the recommended or even better specification does not guarantee a stable experience. This is emulation after all. Xenia does not require any Xbox 360 system files in order to run. Now let's move on to its setup. I'll be downloading the can rebuild. Only a few days ago, it received a major performance update. That's why I'm using this build over the master build. This is the experimental canary build. I'll give its link in the description of this video. Just click on xenia underscore canary dot zip file. Once you have downloaded the archive file, just open it using WinRAR. You can use any other application that can open an archive file. As you can see, these are the contents of this archive file. We need to extract them. On your PC, just create a new folder and name it anything you want. I have created this folder, Xenia Ardia. I'll extract the contents of the archive file here. That's it. As of now, Xenia emulator does not have any proper graphical user interface. In order to tweak the settings, we need to find the configuration file. Let me just show you its location. This is the config.tuml file for Xenia can rebuild. By default, it is located in this directory, document slash senior. Now we do have the option to make the emulator portable, making the root directory of the emulator as the default location for the configuration file. Let me just show you this. It is very useful if you want to make per game settings. Just go back to the root directory of Xenia emulator. Here create a new text file and name it as portable. Now just open Xenia can rebuild. That's it, close it. And there you go. This is the current location of the config.tuml file for this Xenia can rebuild. We need to make changes to this config file. Now let me just show you the settings. This can be a bit intimidating, but we only need to tweak a few settings. First, let me just show you the resolution scale setting. We have two values for resolution scale x and y both are set to 1 this is 1 to 8 0 by 720 pixel resolution that is hd if you set the value to 2 for both x and y the resolution count will double that is 2560 by 1440 pixel resolution only do this if you have a very powerful gpu i'll stick with the default resolution for red dead redemption i'll just disable the vsync As you can see guys, by default it is set to true. I'll just change it to false. Now I'll show you how to enable the patches. In order to use the patches, apply underscore patches should be set to true. That's it with our changes. Now we need to save them. Close the config file. Patch files come with the can rebuild. You can access them from here, patches folder. Now we need to find our game. I'll be running this game, Red Dead Redemption Game of the Year Edition Disc 1. This is the patch.tuml file. I'll open it using notepad. You can use any other text editor. This single patch file contains multiple patches. Now let me just show you how to enable any individual patch. I'll just enable this patch 16x anisotropic filtering. Just set is underscore enable to true. I'll also use another patch. 
some of the patches here can help in improving the performance you can see disable sun flare no trees this is a performance mode description has been provided prevents tree and all other foliage from rendering yeah i'll enable this patch skip intro this will skip the legal and intro videos just need to change is underscore enable to true now i'll just save it close I'll be enabling VSync from NVIDIA control panel. There it is. If you have an AMD graphics card, just use AMD's control panel. The idea here is to cap the FPS at 60. It will also help in reducing the screen tearing. Just click on manage 3D settings, then click on program settings here. Then click on add. Select the Xenia Canary.exe file. Just click on vertical sync here. Set it to on. Click on apply. That's it. Finally, we are ready to run the game. I'll use MSI Afterburner software to show you the performance statistic. Alright, I started the emulator. Let me show you the post processing settings. I'm using this anti aliasing normal quality. In order to launch the game, click on file, open, select the ROM, open. A game should start. We should be skipping the intro.